They go by names like Call of Duty, Mortal Kombat, and Grand Theft Auto. And here's the question. Do these popular but violent video games really contribute to mass shootings? Well, in the wake of the deadly violence in both Buffalo and Uvalde, a new poll shows many Americans think they do. But is that opinion really based in fact? WBZ's John Keller has some answers tonight. And without labeling, parental guidance is virtually impossible. It's been nearly 40 years since Tipper Gore, wife of the future vice president, told Congress warning labels were needed for music with violent themes. And for decades since, alarm over the influence of violent pop culture has festered. A new CBS News poll finds 37% of us and 42% of women finger violent video games as a cause of the mass shooting plague, trailing only gun availability and mental health issues. We have the warning labels, but also plenty of studies that debunk a direct link between gaming and violence. So what is the truth about what they may be doing to our kids? The evidence is clear that playing first-person shooter violent video games over a long period of time increases the likelihood that a child will behave aggressively, hitting others, bullying others. What happens is that it shifts our center. It shifts what we're sensitive to. It bothers us less that guns are involved in conflict resolutions. And Dr. Rich says with violent images so pervasive and readily accessible to kids, parental role modeling is more important than ever. We have to behave in ways that we want our kids to behave, and that includes putting our smartphones down, no matter if there's an important email from our boss on it, when our kid is playing that violent video game and saying, let's talk about how we are affected by the screens we use. Now, the Supreme Court ruled a decade ago the sale of these games to children and young teens could not be banned. But, John, is it just too easy for kids to get them? It's a big problem. You talk to any parent, you've been through this, poll. You know, how are you going to keep your kid from accessing this? It's almost impossible. Uh, the message I got from Dr. Rich today was to parents, hang in there. Uh, you are the most important player in this whole thing. If you are paying attention and tr communicating or trying to with your child, you're way ahead of the game. That makes a difference. John Keller, thanks so much. Ken